today we're going to be checking out an alpaca farm. Alpacas. <laughs> the cute cuddly creatures you may have seen online that look like they have like teddy bear heads. Really fluffy. And On top cute. of a camel body. They're On top adorable. of a camel body. <laughs> this is gonna be the first time Lauren I think the first time, right? First time you've seen an alpaca in person. We've but seen... I love them. I even have alpaca socks. That's true. We have seen llamas before, but alpacas are a little cuddlier looking. But this weekend we're gonna show you how we do long trips in our RV because we started in Santa Fe yesterday and we're headed to Sedona, which is a 10 hour drive. And instead of stopping and trying to find campgrounds, we have special experiences to show you guys, which not only are free to stay at, but really make unique memories. That's so true. Some of the best places to visit are in between some of the bigger cities and you just wouldn't know that unless you were on the road. So we're going to show you how we find them and let you experience a little bit of our lives this weekend. Let's do this. Here are our security guards. They are vicious and they will cuddle you to death. Right? Right? They are so adorable. We just learned something really cool and crazy about alpacas. I already knew that their poop came out like pellets, but what's even weirder is that it doesn't smell like anything. They've got one of the best digestive systems in the entire animal kingdom. And yes, I'm touching poop. Can you spell that one more time? I just gotta get that on camera. Oh wait, hold on, it wasn't recording. Do that one more time? <laughs> wait, hold on. I, I gotta know you're record. messing with me. No, no, I have to record. Do that one more time. <laughs> oh dang, hold on, I didn't get that. Yeah, I'm done, babe. One more time. When they're done with their food. That's the actual poop? Oh my goodness, it looks yeah. like grass. It, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. They have three stomachs, so they chew their cut and, they, and you see it come, go down their neck. They bring up the, and they chew it, and they have grinders in the back. They only have six teeth in the front on the okay. bottom. They don't have top teeth, so they can't bite you. All right, let me get So some. alpaca poop does not smell. Um, our poop does not smell as well, but we have a trick. It's called poopery. Hello, beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. She's so pretty. They don't like to have their heads touched, but they okay. okay with their necks. Hello. Is that yummy? She's so soft. See, they're vegetarians too. <laughs> Vegetarian too. <laughs> I get it. People really like their eyes. I know, I do their too. Eyes are just huge. Yummy. There are two types of alpacas. There's Siri which is directly back here. It looks like it has long dreadlocks. And then there is Wakaya, which is the rest of this herd here. One of our favorite things about Harvest Host is they almost all have a shop where they're selling goods. They may not all necessarily be made on the property, but all of the funds that you spend there go directly into the local market. Welcome to the Alpaca Mercantile. I'm getting alpaca lounging socks to hang out in the Airstream in, which I'm really excited about. And alpaca boot socks that are even reversible. How freaking cool is that? Put your hand right in there and you'll feel how it's gonna feel in your skin. It's amazing. Oh yeah, they're so soft. Yeah. All right, time to head back to the Airstream, grab a bite of lunch, and off to the petrified forest. This is always one of my favorite parts of the trip because means another sticker, another state check mark. New Mexico, 
We love you. Arizona, here we come. As we're driving another 25 to 50 miles to the next gas station, I thought to myself, that'll be a total of 50 to 100 miles between gas stations? All the reason why you need a, some gas cans in the back of your truck at all times. And full, of course. We're passing through what's called the Zuni Indian Reservation, and there were police checkpoints. Um, we were given a pass and told to pass directly through the Sunni reservation. It is closed to non-New Mexico residents right now. I actually respect them for doing what they believe is in the best interest of the people. Um, on a fun note, you got to write your license plate number down and it's now Go Local, which is cool. So that's like the first time we've written down Go Local or anything, or we didn't write it down, the police officer did. That's kind of fun. Welcome to the Petrified Forest. The Petrified Forest is known for this painted desert landscape here. Yep, Daniel decided he wanted to race down the little mountain. Thank you for God he has to come back. Yep, definitely forgot he has to come back. I just totally crushed that. Mm. <sighs> 5,000, 6,000 feet, I don't know what we're at right now, but it's, you can feel it. So one of the reasons we decided to come to the Petrified Forest is because it's really known as a great driving park. And with my ankle still on the fritz, that's pretty much perfect. So we're gonna drive through the park. We found a cool little overnight free place to stay and we'll see what kind of adventures ensue. We made it to our home tonight and I think one of my favorite things about this place is that it's free, free camping. About to check out the museum. You get like free petrified wood, or so they say. We will find out. Let's make a great kitchen table. A twenty-four thousand dollar kitchen table, <laughs> yeah. but still a really cool kitchen table. the free petrified wood um, over there it's like 10 grand but I mean there's a sign here it says free you just have to come pick it up yourself I guess we need a forklift for this thing I think the National Park is epic I appreciate the gift shop because they let you stay here for free I mean there's a lot of cool things in there petrified wood and stones and things like that, um, but they just look heavy and everything we take with us we have to carry. Airstream already weighs enough. I don't really want to add more weight to it with a rock, so we passed. <laughs> Morning from the Petrified Forest. We are going to give our very first hike a try since I have hurt my ankle, but it's only a mile, so we should be all right. All right, let's do this. Going to check out the visitor store because of course I'm gonna land one of those sweet, sweet patches from this national park here. And I'm thinking this one will be really cool, we'll see. Victory, check out this awesome patch. It's always like, there's always like a few selections, so there's an art to picking out the right patch. And this one looks the coolest, it has a petrified forest on it. Awesome, now let's go explore. 
the area of the petrified forest that we're exploring this morning is called the Blue Mesa. It's a 3.5 mile driving trail, and then it has a one mile hike to see them from like a special like viewing point that's supposed to be really, really beautiful. So we're gonna give the hike a try. Who knows if we'll actually make it to the top thanks to my ankle, but we're gonna see what this Blue Mesa thing is all about. recently here from Day Drifters and they told us about this hike and said it was the most beautiful hike in the Petrified Forest. The good news is it's only one mile loop and it all it looks all paved so far so that's a good sign to start. So where we're at we're actually walking down into the heart of the Badlands. And one of the things that we've learned while we're here is that apparently the Badlands National Park is in South Dakota, but there are Badlands all over the U.S. A lot of them are in New Mexico and Arizona too. And this just happens to be one of them. What is crazy about this is sure, it looks dry, it looks dusty, it's a desert, it looks deserted. But over 225 billion years ago, this was a lush, tropical place that dinosaurs roamed. How wild is that? We realize there are views like this in other states, and other state parks, but what we've heard is that this is one of the only places that has purple sand. So if purple sand is your thing, this is where you wanna be, I'm just saying. From gate to gate, it looks like it's around 26 miles. And I thought to myself, this would be like the coolest place ever to run a marathon. If it doesn't already exist, just throwing that idea out there. Starting line at one gate, finishing line at the other. Can I have nice as these camera shots are? Ten times more impressive in person. It is so crazy. I think one of the things you're probably not going to get from this video is just how vibrant and poppy the colors are. That's a specific design term, poppy. Vibrant and poppy, yeah. Colors just pop, you know. It's breathtaking. Shortest hike, but most beautiful hike we have done on our Airstream adventure. No question. Wow. Honestly, it might have only been like a one mile loop, but the views were so amazing, honestly. If you're coming to the Petrified Forest, you have to do this one mile hike. Even you if you just stop for one day like we did and come check it out, it is 100% worth it. Seriously, uh, it's a little dry, so maybe bring some water. We didn't, even though it's only a mile. You, you don't need water if you don't run it. That's true, okay, well, that's true. I wouldn't recommend Mark running it, but uh, but it's so much more fun. three long travel days, we have finally made it to Sedona. Not a bad way to break up a trip, huh? If you've enjoyed this adventure, make sure you follow along and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get all the notifications and you can join us on our adventure here next week. See you soon.